Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I'm going to be going through my top 5 Wes Craven films. So I've recently done my top 5 John Carpenter films and I enjoyed doing that so I thought I'd go through a few more directors and do this kind of thing. So for this one I'm going to go through Wes Craven and like the John Carpenter one this was not an easy list to put together. I've had to leave off two or three really good films that I like but uh, only five films can make the list so I'll get straight to it so number five on my top five Wes Craven films is Swamp Thing so before comic book movies were as big as they are now in Hollywood uh, Wes Craven was down in the swamps filming Swamp Thing which is a really fun creature feature movie I really like the setting and, uh, and everything about this movie um, it's got Adrian Barbeau, who was always a, a reliable actress in these kind of things, and uh, Louis Jordan, who makes a fantastic villain. I remember it was the first time I ever saw him in a film, and I just remember thinking, what a captivating bad guy he makes. And uh, yeah, this is always uh, it's one thing, it's just one that you can put on and enjoy and have a good time. It's my kind of movie anyway, set out in the swamp with like a rubber suited monster, so. It was always one that I was going to find pleasing. So, yeah, number five on my list is Swamp Thing. Okay, at number four, we have Wes Craven's first film, Last House on the Left, uh, which is a, a good effort for a first film. You can kind of tell it's a first film. It's pretty much like a standard A to B movie. Um, girls get tortured in the woods, and then the parents take revenge on the perpetrators. I remember when this came out on DVD years ago, I'd never seen it before and there was all of these kind of uh, talks about it being the most shocking and sickening movie ever made. When I watched it, I, I kind of thought it, was, it wasn't it was all that bad. I don't know if the film had been built up a bit too much or if I was just desensitised, but I, I never found this one as shocking as, as some other movies, although it, it does have a pretty strong content and it's uh, it's kind of... It's very kind of raw filmmaking. I think that's one of the things that does make it quite shocking. There's nothing fancy or anything about this film. It's just kind of down and dirty exploitation filmmaking that uh, that focuses on a really brutal crime. But as I say, a good effort, good first film. One of the best movies in this kind of exploitation, video nasties sort of ilk. So uh, one that I'd recommend if you're into this kind of thing. So yeah, number four, last house on the left. Okay, at number three, we have The Hills of Eyes, uh, Wes Craven's awesome desert-themed cannibal movie. So this uh, this kind of nice American family, they're going driving through the desert and their uh, camper van, I think they have a blowout or something, which leaves them stranded. And they're then stalked off by this uh, cannibalistic clan including Michael Berryman. It's a really cool film. I've always enjoyed The Hills of Eyes. I used to remember seeing this all the time uh, at the, the video shop that I went to, Video City. They had a horror section. And I always remember seeing Michael Berryman staring at me whenever I went over to that section. Uh, never rented it at the time. It was not until this came out on DVD and I was a bit older that I, I watched it and uh, really enjoyed it. On a side note, me and my dad, we met... Michael Berryman at a convention in about 2009. He was a really cool, friendly guy. I had a really nice time meeting him. So always nice to uh, to meet the people that you watch and, and, and have a nice experience with them. Um, but yeah, Hills of Eyes, it's a great movie. Very iconic now. Definitely one worth watching if you've not seen it. The remakes are pretty good as well, actually. And I think Wes Craven had a hand in them. So that's number three. Uh, number two, we have Scream. Uh, now this seems to be uh, people love or hate this one. I, I really like Scream. I thought it was uh, a very, very good film. I remember it coming out in the 90s and thinking it looked terrifying. I didn't watch it at the time. I didn't see it till years later. And then uh, kind of watched it for what it was, which is kind of like that uh, knowing look at the horror genre and, and things like that. Very clever film. And of course, we know now that it's sort of revitalized the slasher genre we got a string of uh, late 90s slasher movies following scream so i really like the movie for that reason 
I really like 90s nostalgia, so Scream is a go-to movie there for me if I want to watch that kind of thing. Uh, the Ghostface Killer is is really cool. Uh, so yeah, this has always been one that I've enjoyed. And to be fair, the the opening scenes with uh, Drew Barrymore on the phone, I, I thought were genuinely scary. I thought that was a really scary opening to a film. So uh, so yeah, I, I I really enjoy this movie. So number two is Scream. And then my number one favourite Wes Craven movie is, of course, A Nightmare on Elm Street. I had to have this at number one. It's an excellent film. It's an iconic slasher film. It gave us Freddy Krueger, who's awesome. Very, very creative and interesting concept of being stalked in your dreams. And, of course, that allowed them to do some uh, really kind of fancy special effects and creative set pieces uh, in this one and especially in the sequels and a pretty decent franchise overall it gave us a, a very iconic uh, horror horror franchise a great series of films and uh, yeah a, a one of the best slasher movies of all time so yeah this is my number one favorite Wes Craven movie so thank you very much for watching that guys let me know what you think do you uh, agree with this list if you don't agree, what would your top five look like? Feel free to let me know. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.